Hi, I'm Kathy Sanfilippo. I'm the director here at Rocking Horse Ranch. And I'm super excited to share with you a little about our equine and our animal assisted psychotherapy programs. Oh, good sit, Missy. Good sit. So just like people and the clients who come to the ranch, horses are social beings and their herd dynamics are very similar to our own family systems. One of the great things about Rocking Horse Ranch is that the animals who are here have all been rescued out of their own traumas, their own abuse, neglect, um, kill lots, etc. And so while the clients are here working on their own mental health, they're also helping to rehabilitate and heal and grow the animals that are here. And it's just a really neat win-win situation. Equine and experiential therapy work really well hand in hand with some of the more conventional treatments that you would find in an office setting. People get to experience change in a hands-on way and it challenges them to look at themselves, to look at the world, to look at interactions with others in a whole new way. So what we see is that People who struggle to make progress and meet their treatment goals often make significant breakthroughs when they're at the ranch. Research has confirmed many benefits of equine and animal therapies. We get to see, obviously, things like a reduction in stress and reduction in anxiety and depression. We see benefits for addiction and most every mental health illness, but we also see decreases in blood pressure, heart rate, respiratory rate, brain activity, and those things continue on beyond just the time with the animals. Clients who come to the ranch participate in a series of purposeful interactions and initiatives with the animals, all aimed at helping them learn different skills. One of the first skills that's important for any client is the ability to identify and experience and cope with their own emotions. One of the areas that we work on with clients is personal boundaries. And we can look at the assumptions and the underlying behaviors that people may have learned without even realizing it, working with the horses. horses are very clear if you've crossed their boundaries. You'll see it in their behavior, their ears, their face, they'll move away from you. They also can be boundary pushers. And when you have a large animal up close and personal, it's very important that you learn how to maintain those boundaries in a safe way where you feel comfortable and it's a better relationship. And then we take those concepts and those experiences and we apply them to situations in a person's life. One area that we see a lot of growth in for clients is, is the area of trust. Um, learning how to trust the animals, when to trust the animals, and also to trust themselves. Um, that they have the ability to take care of themselves, to make good judgments, to, to interact, to be safe, to have emotions, to be in a relationship, to actually let themselves be liked or vulnerable. Another area that we work on with people is overcoming fear. People um, have a lot of fears in their life, including just the ability to be real and come with their brokenness and their imperfections and still be accepted by the horses for who they are. Um, the other thing is just dealing with a large animal that's 1,200 pounds, 2,000 pounds, and gaining the confidence that it takes to be able to relate to them, to be safe, to teach them, to have a real relationship with them, helping them overcome fears as well. A lot of the horses that come to us have fears of their own, and the clients get to help us teach the horses how to manage those fears, to not be controlled by those fears. The horses might always be nervous about things, but they learn how to be okay. The clients in the process learn how to handle themselves and gain confidence in new situations as well.
communications, another key area that we work on here. Horses are really excellent communicators. They might not speak with words, but they use body language in ways that, if you pay attention, um, is very clear. So we help people to look at their own communication patterns, verbal, nonverbal, and they can see very quickly how um, the animals are responding to the things that they're doing or the things that they're saying. And then again, we, we translate that over into um, the rest of their relationships in their life. This is Rockstar. He's one of the ranch favorites for the clients to work with. Um, he does a lot of different initiatives. He works on addiction. Um, he has an addiction to hay and carrots and sugar cubes and um, helps clients learn about their own addictions and how to manage those. There's a lot of different areas. You'd be surprised what we can come up with here, but it helps people develop a sense of responsibility, a sense of pride and accomplishment, a sense of relationship. What else do you do, Rocky? He's afraid of his own shadow. So clients work a lot with him to help him learn how to handle his fears and not be so anxious. They work on helping him to relax and just calm down. And in the process, they're able to center themselves and ground themselves and, and find their own sense of peace. How rock star. So I guess just to summarize, Research tells us that we learn best through experience. And we learn best through experiences that are unique, novel, um, challenging, and yet also safe and not overwhelming. So the ranch is a wonderful place for clients to come, to have new experiences, to learn new things in a memorable way where they can apply it and use it as they go forward and basically reinforce all those ideas that we learn in talk therapy and put them into practice.